Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 59 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, another day, another campaign. And yes, in Yuan Shao's campaign, you can only pick two people. Yuan Shao himself, or Zhang He, who was an officer under him before he defected to Wei. Surprisingly, Zhen Ji is not a playable character, even though technically she served under Yuan Shao's court by being married to one of the Yuans at that time. Before he got killed, and then she left him for Sao Pi. But anyways, let's move on to Act 1. Intolerable! This madman has deceived the people into self-ruin! Well, sorry for not doing Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne! Shed its petals. Much like the Han. Be quiet! Do not even think such things! Let us go then, my lord. Restoring peace and tranquility is the duty of a loyal Han retainer. Yes. The proud Yuan family blood also flows through my veins. To battle! Henceforth, we do not stop until we crush the Yellow Turban Rebellion! The weird thing, however, is when we played against the Yellow Turbans many times, Yuan Shao was nowhere to be seen. And yes, these levels are exactly the same as everyone else's. That's why I'm skipping the other two. Because there's no real reason to do them, given that I've already done them dozens of times on camera. Or, not dozens of times, so a couple times on camera, a dozen more off camera. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. What is here or there, we gotta bring the crew in. I think we'll give them crossbows this time for a change. Alright, so this is what my weapon layout's gonna be. Noble Swords at level 2, because I did play a little bit of Yuan Shao for a moment. Not that far, just enough to get him some experience. The stats are pretty poor, though, but that's because, well, we haven't really been training him much. It's only because of the Tiger Amulet and the Tortoise Amulet that his stats look a little bit palatable. That being said, this is the exact same level, so nothing is different. Yeah. Cao Cao will penetrate enemy lines from the east, while Sun Jian attacks from the west. The volunteer forces will break through the middle and join the other forces. Sun Cao and Jian Yan can control the very element. I do like the, uh, two squares and then one charge attack, because it's a very quick combo on them. I like it. And for some reason, Yuan Shao actually gets more experience from the Yellow Turbans than anyone else did in their campaigns. So, I'm definitely going to be spending some time in this mission to bulk him up a bit. He really needs it. Just remember in the other campaigns there are no special levels, so no special objectives to fulfill here. I think I'm going to hang around on the right side. Wait, Yan! Yeah, that's right. Usually in Act 1 you see random uh, characters based on the kingdom they represent. Wei Yan, I believe, was still serving around Jing province at this time, or maybe he wasn't even born yet. Shoryuken! Is that like a stab? Oh no, it's a swing, okay. Alright, let's see, we're gonna find any more officers around here? Ah yes, Cheng Yuanji. Anybody that's played Destiny Man Emperor probably remembers that guy because he's one of the first enemies you see that's not a bandit. You know that old NES game I played some of? Never finished! We must not fall behind! Yeah, it's a pretty good RPG if you never played it. It does really put in a lot of flexibility in terms of who you want in your party. Because most everybody in that game you cannot even train. I shot.
I really don't like that uh, Yuan Shao has to laugh every time he swings up. Aha! It's like that Family Guy clip of Speed Racer. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Ow, ow. And again, that's another disadvantage of Yuan Shao is that every time he gets hit, he yelps. Enemy officer defeated. He's like, oh, 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 oh my god, it hurts. Slow oh, the pain of it all. I think it's over there to the east to get the Muso one, if I remember correctly, because I did pick it up many times regarding this LP and outside of it. No way, Zhang Ho. I know you're my subordinate, but that's my kill. Huh, Mr. Blue Jongles. Where is he to? Ow, ow. Don't think about it. Wait, who is that, that next one? Sauren? Yeah, it is Sauren. Oh. I recognize that midget from anywhere. Ow. For someone that's so short, he is very strong. I'll give him that. Oh yeah, I think I should really deal with Zhang Liang as soon as possible, otherwise we're gonna get hit by boulders. Indiana Jones, dial. Jesus, I mean, if this were real life, the horse would be glue right now. Uh, Samurai, you're British. Speak with a British accent. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the sad thing is that when the boulders stop, they actually keep going until they're destroyed. We must not fall behind. Okay, where's the Muso one to again? You are a hero without Oh, you're only saying that because I ordered you to, and you'll be executed if you don't. But thank you! Oh, there's the Muso one. I was looking for that. Good shot. Who says good shot anyway like that? Uh, oh yeah, Swordman from Mega Man 8. Fond memories of that game, and by fond I mean agonistic from the whole voice acting. Is he partially through the wall? Yeah, who cares about Zhang Bao? Not even Zhang Bao cares about Zhang Bao. That's why he's a yellow turban. Excuse me? You know, do you want me to finish this level right now? Because I will. You know, screw it. I actually will finish the level right now because I can get the dim sum up there. But if I do see an officer on the way, he's gonna die. Joe Kong, I don't think he really died. He probably served Shu at some point. Unless that's a different Joe Kong. May not even be the same people. Ow, ow. That's it. Everybody keep on to him. From a distance, of course. I mean, you are archers. Crossbowmen. No sense to uh, go in close quarters like your Marley from Chrono Trigger. Did you think you could break through our forces? Okay, if I remember correctly, dim sum in the northeast corner. You see me pick it up a couple times. Liu P anyway. Oh, there he is. Wow, that's brutal. We must not 
I can't really hope for like a uh, good items in this mission, but I would like to uh, get well, you know, an upgraded orb. That in itself would be nice to have. All right, let's go. I got what I came for. I'm not alone. I got my bodyguards there. They count as people, do they? Do they? <laughs> Just because they're not... Yeah, they are NPCs, but... They got a name. Enemy officer defeated. Alright, grab ourselves some floating meat, because why not? Well, it's not like the Belmonts had any standards. They'll just grab meat that's in the wall. I just grab meat that has no weight. Okay, flamethrower, nice. Oh, you're getting all these Muso charges anyway, John Cal. Okay, really? Really? You used three Musos in a row. I, I, I call bullshit on that one. Bow your head before I take it off. I wish that my uh, charge attack would actually hit him rather than just a random soldier that I'm not even looking at. <laughs> I just knocked him right against the lantern. What a brutal way to kill someone. Alright, that's one victory for the Han, of course. And I don't mean the solo variety. I kind of expect the crap out of that. Ooh, three slots. Noble Swords are level three. Close to being upgraded. That's beautiful, of course. Yeah, I'll just put it here. Why not? Yeah, the alliance against Dong Zhuo. Yeah. Exact same cutscene. Exact same dialogue. And exact same Hulao Gate. Of course, that's another item slot. I will definitely be taking that. I should really put it towards the Peacock Urn at this point. Because I'm in a very precarious position otherwise. You know, the whole Lubu thing. That's a bit of a problem when I climb Hulao Gate's walls to grab the stat ups. This is a battle for justice. Do not fear. Attack! Did you think you could break Man, I should have brought like some snow clearing. Your overconfidence will be your downfall. enemy down. Okay, get that whatever got dropped. Enemy officer defeated. I don't know. I don't see it. It's too snowy. Oh, it's an attack up. Okay. Okay, really not regretting grabbing that peacock urn. It's gonna say my ass early. Still only getting 204 experience per kill, though. That's kind of disappointing at this point. We must not fall behind. Okay, that clears out that gate. Oh, now you kill him. You wait for him to knock him off the horse, and then you do it. All right, let's head north. I'll protect the ram later. 
Break down the gates with the ram. Can you get through? Protect the ram while it heads for Hulao Gate. Oh, now I should be able to get through. Like, always oh, turn around. Let's go. Okay, the sooner I upgrade my weapon, the better. Combo like eleven. I rarely get out like eleven hit combos in Killer Instinct, let alone this game. Okay, is there any other officers around here? There should be. Oh no. We must not fall behind. I think Zhang Liao stopped showing up as soon as I had him unlocked for the Wei forces. Really? Now, why are you guys just letting him go? Well, I'm not, I have to do all the hard work. Did you think no respect for the nobility, I'm telling you. Alright, there should be an officer around here. A gauche. No, Lee really and shoot wrong. Again, I still need the weapon experience, so that's why I'm wasting my time here. So I'm mostly focusing on sub officers rather than the main officers themselves. Once I clear out Act 2, then the Act should really open up challenge wise. Oh, the gate, gate's open. Good. Oh, Wei An's back. <laughs> no break in talking for uh, our good old Yuan Shao, am I right? Oh, there's my horse. Alright, let's go. The part that I hate the most. No, uh, Yuan Shao is probably an atheist. Rush them in one blow. Just keep Lubu away from me. You will not break through our forces. Then I should be okay. More so with this peacock urn on. The enemy is strong. Nice change of pace is that I'm the commander of this mission for a change. Crush them in one blow. As always, Yuan Shao. I mean, he was the leader of the Alliance, after all. Yep! Yeah, he's, I got a red air too. Mine's better than yours. And I guess got knocked out of it. Well, it kind of would be cool to actually get knocked on the horse. All right, Dio Chan, where are you? Okay, I'm prepared. Nice back massage, guys. Thanks. Nice defense up from that. Very appreciative. Okay, I think we should go now. I said, I think we should go now. <laughs> Women always want you around, but they don't want you to do anything with them. Damn it. At this point, I have no need of Lord Burn the city and keep the invaders out. Doesn't really do anything. You're just going to move everything to Chung on anyway. Nice knockback. Alright, so far so good. I've gone through this mission many times. Probably not the last time either. That being said, however, we're doing just fine. But I won't let you get away so easily. Then why is I to wait all the way back there, Hua Zhong? 
Would you have rather just approach us a little bit closer? No? Okay, whatever floats your boat. Alright, fine. So, oh! Get in position, guys! Like, oh, it's a draw. Um, I hope you weren't aiming those arrows at me, guys. Thank God there's no such thing as friendly fire. I think there might have been in Dynasty Warriors 2, however. Like, you can actually attack your own forces or knock down your own forces if you used a horse. Enemy officer defeated. Not sure about melee combat, though. Yes, let us. This place is really packing at this point. We need to clear out some of these troops. Or we're gonna have a hard time seeing who's who. Oh, there's Dong Zhuo. I think he's going after my bodyguards. Unacceptable. Can't have this. Or this. Or this. Oh, trying to sneak up on me. I'm on to your games, fatty. Oh, this is the part where he just runs away. Wait, where's my horse? Should be around here. Yeah, you ain't going very far, don't you? Well, now when you got your puny little legs with all the gout and all, and I got my horse. Wait, he's got another horse? Where'd you get that one? Oh, trying to deek around me. Oh, there he is. Oh, damn it. Come on. Go after Dong Zhuo. Forget about Lu Bu. Is he talking to himself? And I just got a phone call. Time out. Alright, let's continue on and uh pursue aka probably not pursue Dong Zhuo. Yeah, he's gonna get away. So, I'll just take on Mew Fu instead. You'll be the scapegoat. Press them in one blow. Uh. He's supposed to have died, but since Dong Zhuo escaped, he suddenly attained immortality. Yeah, that was my mom that called me at that time, and surprisingly, hasn't disowned me yet. Nah, she would never do that. She loves me. Even though she's known I've been Let's Playing for, what, almost five to six years now? Oh, now I have the Regal Sword! Awesome! Okay, so... That went really well... And it's time for Act 3. Yeah, we finished two acts already. The Allied forces succeed in foiling the evil ambition of Dong Zhuo. Blah, 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 blah. Standing in the way of Yuan Shao now, it's Cao Cao, who had, held, had himself built up a base of power in the Henan region. They may have been once, once been comrades in arms, but now they are bitter opponents. The battle for control of the Central Plains is about to begin. And then we have the Battle of Guandu, this time on the perspective of Yuan Shao in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.